That's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh, but it turns out you can't really build something like that. So yeah, Urza is a robot based off of a human. So that's why I was so confused. So that's why I was so confused. It all makes sense now. Don't fuck with shit. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. But it turns out you can't. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. She's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. He gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now, she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. No matter what, we are not letting this amber go. I know I tried selling it to some random lady earlier in the game, but now I have purpose for it. To not be an asshole. Okay. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But, if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms, or legs, or head. Okay then. Thanks. You okay, sir? Sir. 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 Have you, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, sir? Sir. Sir. Are you okay, sir? Sir. I cannot stop spinning. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But it's too late for you. I hope you find peace. Wherever you are. Wherever you end up. Find peace, young one. Find peace. Hello. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? What does that have to do with anything? God, Nico, you can't just say that to people. Never mind. Yeah. Gosh, Nico, haven't you learned anything? God. Okay, so now we have a library card. But I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think we can just go up to her and be like, Hey, yeah, let us in, the robot. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Monitoring, monitoring. Okay, then. Uh, those square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up some more disruptions of Sector 8 in the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. What's not good exactly? I mean, I know the sun is out and everything, and cubes are taking over the world. Robots are dying left and right. But, you know, like... What else? What? Give me details. I want details. What's over here? Another factory I can check out? No? Okay. Alright, I think I've pretty much seen everything. So I'm gonna head back to the library. I cannot fast travel because I'm inside and I forgot about that. 
So I'm gonna head back to the library and hopefully be able to progress, though I highly, 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 highly doubt it. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match failed. It seems you do not resemble the owner of the card. You cannot use this card. Bummer, that sucks and I knew it wouldn't happen. Uh... Where did these lenses come from? I don't remember. That's weird. Okay then, so now what? Oh wait, oh, oh, photo, yeah. Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah. Oh fuck yes. Oh, thank God. I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is that the photo center is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? Hey, you're catching on pretty quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All of the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Aaron and I can figure it out from here, if I'm wrong. Maybe Aaron and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help out people with expired IDs, like me. Okay, so I gotta talk to the vendors now. You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? The camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean concave lens did. Well, I've got a concave lens right here. You used to be in the concave lens did. Wait, are these just hints? Oh fuck, I am fucked. Can you tell me how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure that bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Okay, so bulgy eng on bulgy eng bulgy lens on the edge. Okay. Is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay, so thin lens between two curves, and bulgy at the end, so... I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Okay, so bulgy and lens. Oh my god, why can't I fucking say the word lens? Is there anything you remember? Thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Thin lens between the two curved ones. Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both the curved lenses. So, thick lens to the left. Thin lens positioned between two curved ones. Okay, so I got this figured out now. Yeah, I got this out. Now, I got this. I got this. Okay, so thin... Then you go here, and then you go here, and then you go here, there, oh fuck, I guess that wasn't the right combination Aaron, well we'll try again, alright. I, I don't remember where we got these lenses from. Uh, I think the, uh, the guy on the elevator help gave it to us. I don't remember. Okay, so I'm going to try this. Put this here. Okay. Thin. And then thick right here. Nope. Wrong again. Okay, then. All right. I'm going to ask one a uh, few more times. Okay, so the concave lens needs to be between the thick and thin. So, concave right here. And then I'll ask this guy. I forget. He said, one of them said one has to be on the left. Thick right here. Uh, fuck. I'll figure it out. 
I will. I'm not an idiot. I swear. The thick lens would be the convex lens. Oh, no. It's literally titled the thick lens. I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I am a dumbass. Okay, and then concave goes over here. And then convex right here, and then thin right here, maybe? Uh, fuck, I suck. I think, I, I think I've got it figured out, I fucked that up. Okay, concave goes here, okay. And then convex, please, lordy loo, let this work. Yeah, awesome, yeah, yeah. Time to get my photo taken. Gonna get into the library. Uh, cheese? Ouch, my eyes. Poor Nico. <laughs> you fucking baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't swear. I'm sorry. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? Yep, I'm sure. Let's see. Can I? I can't look at it. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. Well, it did. Not a cat. <laughs> oh, Nico. Nico, Nico, Nico. Combine. I can't combine those. Well, combine with the glitter glue. Back of the photo is covered with glue and glitter. Yes, glitter is very important. Photo of Nico, very sticky. Combine it with the library card. The card has my face on it now. Alabatabushke. I go to the library and get this some, get some progress up in this bitch. I haven't been making progress, but now I am. The head librarian George is in the archival room upstairs. Well, good thing I got my library card, of course, 100% legit. Authenticating barcode, executing facial recognition, photo match, successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. <laughs> oh, Nico. Nico, Nico, Nico. All right, so I'm just gonna take a look around the corners. Okay, nothing but plants. A phone, huh? Looks like an old phone. And trash, it's full. Excuse me. Hey, who the heck do you think you are barging in like that? I don't care if you're the Messiah, manners are still a thing. I'm sorry? Well, are you just here to apologize? Yes, I, I mean no. I mean, I need your help. I'm not sure what I need to do next. I think I need to go to the tower. Seriously, you haven't figured that one out yet? I don't know how to get in. Well, I don't know either. Shouldn't Aaron help you with that? All I know is that nobody from this world can get in there. Not beyond the tiny entrance. Not beyond that tiny entrance room, anyway. If anything, there might be a book on how the Messiah of all people can get in. But I don't know anything like that in my collection. Would like to, though. I see. Could it be the book we found, the strange journal, maybe? Let's check it out. Let's see if she has anything to say about it. Hello? Oh, I have this book. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Oh, let me see. Oh, of course, of course. Um, more work for George, fine. Uh, hey, uh, kid. Nico. Looks like I'm gonna have to translate this for you. Might take a while, all right? Oh, excuse me. I know that feel, kid. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. Ah, poor Nico. Uh, I'm actually getting tired myself. That's not good. You know what? I have a guest room in the attic down the hall. Go take a nap. Just looking at you getting tired is making me tired. Oh, that, that's so nice. Thank you so much. It's so nice to be, lady. See, this would have taken me forever to find the bed I needed. A book is poking out from the shelf. Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed, she seemed high in spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house. She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on wood floor. Regret, regrettably, she is unsure of the house's situation. 
Rackus was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He's been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's day-to-day -day musings, and his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were enduring as ever. The older child, Calamus, has expressed interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Okay, so we're getting a bit of backstory about this George chick. A book is poking out from the shelf. Ah, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Ooh. Wednesday. Another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Thursday. Various sketches. Practice. Practice makes perfect. Especially with drawing. Hey! I think this book actually... I think this book is actually about clovers. Ooh! Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display incredible iridescence with the exposed sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can thrive in the metallic sand and harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with the moss of, for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may be the first life forms to colonize our world. Interesting. So, cl so clovers came before cat people and robots. Interesting. Thankfully, Dr. Phil- <laughs> I fucking said Dr. Phil. I'm fucking tired, okay? Forgive me. Thankfully, thank thankfully, 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 I can't fucking speak. I can't fucking speak, man. I can't fucking speak. Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is- on the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time, but it still should be capable of delivering the late prophet's message. The team suggested that taming was a lost cause. What does taming mean? That's- I- Like, do they become, like, humane? Like, like, free-thinking? Or- I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a goddamn genius, okay? Especially when I'm tired, alright? I just blurt out whatever nonsense comes out of my mouth, okay? So, blue phosphor on the face, rounder look on the face, redesigned internal audio receptor somewhere, compatible with longer clothing, nice, a beautiful dress, wireless signal amplifier. Okay. Oh, yes, the fast fashion. It's a stack of blank papers. All right, with that, I think I'm going to end this video. It's a stack of blank papers. A book on the ground. Okay, after I read this. After these messages, of course. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory easier and easier to believe, but I could not describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, after all, it felt only right to honor her this way. Which one did you encounter? There are six. Huh. All right. Well, hopefully, I I think getting in this bed is just going to progress the story or something. I don't know. I don't think it's going to close the game. But if it does, um, if it progresses the story, I think I'm going to end it anyway. But so I'm just going to end it here. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really hope there was enough progress in this episode. I've been recording for an hour, but I feel like I made no progress. But we learned a few things about this world, and we made just a tiny bit of progress. So, there you go. Thanks again so much for watching. Leave a like down below to show your support. A comment letting me know what you thought of the video. Share this video with everybody you know if you would like to support the channel. Subscribe to keep up to date with all my future videos that I post in the future. And I'll see you in the next video of mine. Bye for now. I don't want to do this again. Fuck it. Okay, okay, okay. Of course, that's what I get for saying fuck it, right? Right? I make a wrong turn. Of course. Of fucking course. My goddamn luck. I make the wrong fucking turn. How stupid am I, right? 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 Left? Right? Yeah, I did it! Fuck you, game! Fuck! Oh my god! It, oh, fucking hell! 
seriously. I'm just... What the fuck? 